to the Daily Draw end of the week treat. Very excited about this. I uh, hope you're going to enjoy it. All you need is paper and pen. Just grab it and let's get drawing. We are going to do Lightning McQueen from Cars. Okay, let's go with Lightning McQueen today. Now, if you're looking at that thinking it looks a little bit hard, and you've not done a daily draw before, well, what we do is we break it down. Everybody who's been doing the daily draws with us from the start knows this. It's going to start with some simple shapes. And these are the simple shapes we're going to start with. But what I want you to look at here is, can you see it's on a slight angle to the page? All of that is on just sticking up. And that makes sense when the picture's finished, because just he seems to kind of go in that angle. There we go. Can you see that? So that's what we're going to start with. Then we're going to build some of the details and then we're going to finish with Lightning McQueen. So let's get started here. I'm doing it on watercolour paper because I want to use um, my watercolour pencils. So if you've got watercolour paper, you can do it in your watercolour pad or in the paper. And then we'll use the pencils. All of this is available on our website at littleartschool.co.uk. Um, but we're going to start here with these simple shapes. So let's start with this. So you can see, we've got, can you see how big that first rectangle is really? One, two, three, four shapes. That's all it is. But I want to make sure I've got the sizes right here. I'll just put that out of the way and I'm going to start with a couple of dots because that will really help me. Let's get this very first shape right. One, two, it's on a slight angle. Can you see that? Just a slight angle. Keeping your pencil grip nice and relaxed. Don't worry about being super straight lines. A lot of these we're gonna rub out anyway. Nice, relaxed pencil grip. Let's put in another couple of dots up here. So we're gonna take it up at an angle to about there, I think. This seems huge, doesn't it? And there. And it's only as you see, as I take that line up there, can you see that we are on a little bit of an angle here? I have exaggerated it slightly. First rectangle in, we've begun. Now, second one, we're gonna take it up slightly there and down a little bit there and then across. And down. It actually needs to be a little bit wider, that. You see the mess I've made there. I'm not worried about that at all. Sometimes you don't get it right with your first mark and you have to keep coming back and doing it. And that's fine. Right, let's carry this line up here to there and what I'm going to do is come in here I've got an angle there and then I'm going to take that line it's actually on a slight angle itself there up to there and to finish this part all I'm going to do is a little curve here and a little it's not a semicircle can you see it's just two curves and then that line joining them and that is our first shapes and we are started. Okay, let's build this up now. So when I've got to the end of this bit, I'll pause it and you'll be able to see this here. So can you see these red marks here? That's the shapes we've just put in. And some of these lines we're going to end up running out, rubbing out, but others will act as a guide. So can you see there that red mark? We're just going to go above it, that line here. That one will just rub out here but this one is the one that's going to really help us we're really going to work into that square so let's start over here and we're going to add that tire in first it actually comes down under here I made a mistake when I first did it but it actually comes down under here or curves round and then we can just rub that line out there we go and now let's start in here what I want to do is just mirror the line there up to there and then it's a little bit more curved than that one and we're going to go right out to there at the bottom we're just going to go slightly up can you see there like that and then I'll come in and rub this out so you can draw with me or you can pause and draw at the next stage now here coming out I'm going to take the line out and down and then I'm going to start working in to this rectangle here, which is most of the work for this one. Let's start with that line. So we've just taken it up a little bit and I want to come round to there. 
just that little shape. We'll come back to the rest of it. But what I want to do is just start here with this. From the bottom, I am going to come to there in that shape. Can you see there? And then this shape's really important here is look, it's that little triangle. You see, you'll see it when we pause that one there. Get that little shape in. And then from there, that's the top of the wheel. And we're going to take the wheel to there, which is about halfway across that square. Let's take it out slightly and keep your pencil mark. If you feel your pencil tightening up, just loosen your grip. I'm doing it in lots of short strokes here to get a nice curve. And then underneath, I'm going to go like that underneath the square. And then I'm going to come in there. So that's the start of it. Here, this bottom bit of the tie, you just come down and join there. You see, can you see it's starting to come to life a bit? Well, our Lightning McQueen, we're going to go under there just a little bit as well. So what we can do now is we can come back. We've rubbed that line out. We've rubbed that line out and we can get rid of this one as well. And that one there. You see how that's all coming. Right, let's go and work in these shapes here now. So we've got that coming down to about there. Take that out. Let's think about that line there now. I'm going to go to the top here and down and across. And I'm going to take that so we've got that little back window there. Then if I come in here, one, and I'm just going to finish there, like that. But here at the top, we've got another line coming down there. And then I can get rid of these shapes. Actually almost done here. So leaving that line, I'm going to put in another wheel here, the back wheel coming in that shape and I'm going to join those two. Watch this. One, two. That's it. So it's that one you're going to work in. So if you're getting confused, then just pause it now. Pause it now. You're going to see this and you can really take your time to get these shapes in. Okay, we've got all the basic structure here. So now it's the fun bit. Now it's the bit where we can put in the details. So let's make sure we've really got those lines, our starter help lines. Let's make sure we've got those rubbed out and then we can come in. I am gonna start here on the bonnet. And what I'm gonna do is take a line up there and then we've got this kind of bit there. Actually, I've gone too high there. Don't worry about getting it right first time. Here we go, I'm going to take it down to about there. And here is where his eyes are going to go. The first one is about halfway along. Your instinct is to go one, two, but they're not. They're, they're, they're both quite close together, his eyes. And this one is going to come like that. And we've got a semicircle there, and just a tiny dot for the, for the highlight. And then a small gap. And we'll put the second one in. So that's his eyes in, and then we've got that bit coming up. Now there's not a massive amount of detail. It's not like the Princess Peach we did earlier this week. It's just coming down here, we've got a line there. And then we've got the, the two headlights. The first one is here. This is the shape you want for that. First headlight, one, two. And the second one, let's take it easier. I, find, I found it when I was doing it earlier to start there like that and then put, it's bigger this second one and it's on an angle. You wanna sweep it up. So it's about on the same line there with the eye and coming down and one, two. Okay, one dot, two dot, three dot, four dot. Okay, can you see he's really coming together now, isn't he? So let's put his huge smile in and we're going to start it, go down from there, start it there and we're going to finish it 
there. So I'm going to put my two dots in to show how far I want this to come. And it is this big crescent shape there like that and then inside we split it with two lines one two we'll come in and color that bit later we'll just leave it like that for now so all I want to do now is put in a nine there nine and a five and then we've got a couple of little lines one two three we'll be using our little pencils for this for later and down and that's the main bulk of his body done so if I come in here now I'm just going to do this wheel so come inside and we're going to put a little shape within our shape there that's one and then another one there like this two and some shapes there and then here we've got this number and it's so it's putting in the number 95 don't get too wound up about uh, about this it's it's pretty simple if you take the shapes down so what i'm going to do is come up and go like that if that doesn't make sense don't worry it will and then we're going to bring the nine in a curve there so we've got the nine and then we've got the five coming round it's all a bit crammed in there it's fine and then up here these are just like little lightning bits that we'll do some coloring in from the top of that circle there if I take that round I want to come up and round in that shape and down and two marks really to finish it off now one two and it's all Done. There's our Lightning McQueen. I'm going to do it in watercolour pencils. Stick with me to see what colours I'm going to use uh, or go and grab your felt tips or crayons or however you're going to colour it in. I'm going to paint this using my watercolour pencils, which gives me a fabulous paint effect, but without all the mess and bother of, of getting a palette of paints out. So these are the colours I'm going to use here. Red, orange, yellow. Um, and some blue, only a tiny bit of blue, and black. And um, all of the pencils are available on our website. So you can go there and you can buy the whole pack with the book and the pencils and everything for um, for an amazing uh, £15, including delivery. Uh, what a bargain. Uh, whilst we're doing our daily draw, because so many people are joining us here for that. Now, I'm going to come down here like this. I'm just going to show you how this works. It's a spare piece of paper. The key with them is that you've got to use the watercolour paper, otherwise you just don't get the same effect. So that's me. It just looks like it's a bit of colouring. But as soon as I touch my brush to it, you see, it turns to paint. It's fabulous. Right, lots of red on here. So I want to get started here with the red. Now, this was a bit confusing when I was doing it. What you want to do is to go to that line there, the one that's just immediately above the eyes. I'm going to take the line up. I'm pressing quite hard here because I want this to get have loads of paint on it. You see, I'm really, the harder you press, the more paint you'll get on and the darker it'll be. And if you want it light, you just use lots of water. <sighs> Blow away any excess bits. Take my brush here. Not too much water on it, just enough to turn it, but I don't want to water it down. I want a really strong red here. There's two reds in our watercolour pack. Just test them before you use it because you want the red red, not the pinky red. They are quite different. So just using my brush there to turn the colour. And now I'm going to take it right round here like this. So here, I'm going to leave that bit there because that's going to be like a little window. But I'm going to take it out there and then around that lightning stripe there to the bottom of the wheel. And then up to there. You see, that's the bit I'm going to colour. I'm 
not too much water. I often squeeze my brush out just on my hand or, or in a bit of, of kitchen roll or, or a tissue or something to make sure there's not too much water on the brush when you want the paint really strong like this. There we go. And now I'm gonna do this whole, actually I'll just do these bits inside the wheels. I've got that bit. And that whole bit there. You can go over the black bits because we can put the black on top of the red. Let's do it there like that. Watercolour pencils work so well with this, I think, because you can really have fun by, by getting that strong, strong paint colour. There we go. That's that bit there. And now the last bit of red. I'm going to come around here all the way to the bottom and up around there but I don't want to go right into the mouth so I'm going to go around the mouth and I don't want to go there into the lights so I'm going to go around the lights but then all of this I'm going to cover. Now, any bits that we did, we've got those little lines on, don't worry, we're going to come back and put those in in black at the end. But I do want to go around that 95 there. And remember, the more harder you press, what you're doing is you're putting the paint pigment that's inside that pencil onto the paper and it will become darker. And I want this really dark, so I'm really going for it. I don't usually put as much as that on there. I want to have a really solid, strong red. Okay. And now I'm just going to turn that whole bit to paint. I'm hoping this is a real end of the week treat for Cars fans. And don't forget to subscribe to the Little Art School YouTube channel. We have got absolutely loads of different um we've got buzz lightyear and how to draw woody ratatouille oh so many i can't even name them there's almost 200 now how to draw videos that we've created i don't usually say please subscribe hit the subscribe button i have been told to do that but these were all these videos are created to help children everywhere with homeschooling so um the fact that so many of you like us and subscribe to us is just a massive bonus, but it really is just all about trying to help you find nice creative things to do and to believe in yourself that you can draw because everybody can draw. You saw how simple we started this. It all just begins with simple shapes. And there's this, people think that people that you can either draw or you can't draw, but here's, here's a little secret that I've learned over seven years of... Um, of the little art school and everything we've done. Everyone can get really good at drawing and painting. It's just practice. That's all it is. That's the secret, practice. Okay, that's all the red in. I'm now gonna come in and do this little bit round here. And what I'm gonna do is cover the whole top. I'm gonna go up there to the side, all the top with yellow. do all the bottom with orange and right at the bottom there a little bit of red now if I start turning this to paint from the red everything will end up red because that's the strongest but what I want is this yellow to really stand out so I'm going to take up the yellow first then bring in the orange then at the end, there, bring in the red. And we've got that. So it's starting to come together. We're gonna to really use our black now and a little bit of our blue. I'm gonna start with the blue going around the eyes. Oh, when the pencils are, I really love working with my pencils very sharp and it does mean that they can crack a bit. Did you see how that cracked? And I've got, you've gotta be careful just to blow it out of the way because if, the brush touches it, it'll turn to paint. Right, 
So that's my blue in. Sque I'm squeezing my brush really tight there because I don't want much water at all there. I just want to turn it a little bit. And now I've got some orange that I want to put in here, just at the sides of both of those lights. I'll just turn that to paint. A bit more yellow in here on that 95. And now we can really go in with the black, lots of black in this now. So I'm going to start here with this tire and I'm going to go around the edge first. I want this to be really dark. So you can see I'm really pressing. Take my brush. You can see that we get a really brilliant dark, dark black. And then I'm going to go around here like that. Oops, just around the outline. Up around the outline here. But there, can you see we had that line in? What I want there is a really strong line. I'm not going to turn that to paint, but I just want that strong line in. And coming down. And then we're really outlining that there. And up there. Now, when you put the eye pupil in, you see, I'm going to first of all, I'm going to draw around and leave a little space. And then I'm going to put that in there. Right, I've still got my black here, but what I'm going to do, if you watch me now, I'm going to go around that window, but I'm not going to colour inside. Instead, I'm going to take some water on my brush because I want this to be paler. Take a bit in, then it makes it grey. You see, I'm going to do exactly the same on this bit of wheel here. Take it round the edge. There. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do that bit really dark. And that bit really dark. Then I've got these shapes inside as well. So for this bit here, you can see that's going to be very dark, isn't it? That's going to be dark. But this bit here, clean my brush nice and wet. Bring in a bit of that. I'm going to take that down so that it's more of a grey. If I come here now, I'm going to take the line there and I'm going to go really hard in the centre of his smile there and then go round. There we've got that 95. I'm going to have to sharpen my pen because I've just used it too hard. It's not, I haven't got much on it, that's better. Right, with the lights, exactly what we just did there with that tyre. Go round, there, wet brush, look at that, one, that's all it takes, one thing across to create that. But here in the middle, I just want to bring in some of these lines that we put in right at the start and those dots. Just to break up all that red really. There, and then here, we're gonna finish it now at the back. So if I bring that down, got that there, let's go around the 95. That bit there's coloured in a bit. Here I've got a really dark bit. And I'm going to go dark on this whole wheel here. So my colouring in looks really a bit scruffy, doesn't it? But that's fine. It's not bad colouring in. 
it's all about the paintbrush. You see? And that should be. There we go. Oh, Lightning McQueen. Oh, I hope you really loved it. And um, that I, we would love, love, love to see your Lightning McQueen. So you could go onto our Twitter page, on our Instagram page, on our Facebook page, and send us a photo of your Lightning McQueens. Uh, we would, we would, Elizabeth and I would just love to see it. And the whole Little Art School team, we love seeing what you've created yourselves. We're going to be back next week for what is going to be the final week of the Daily Draws. Uh, we've got five fab drawings planned for you. So we will see you then.